creating a teapot standard primitive. Now, uh, we go up into our command panel and we go to create geometry, standard primitives, and we have a teapot. And we pick with our left mouse button, and we hold it down, and we create the radius of the teapot. If we come over and look, we see that we have the creation method is the center. We can also do the edge, which would be the diameter of the teapot. We have the radius here and the number of segments. And we can create it smooth or faceted. And we can also turn off various parts, like the lid can be turned off, the handle could be turned off, the spout could be turned off. So we have variety of things we could turn on or off here. And so you're probably thinking, hmm, okay, let's do that again. A teapot, all right. And let's go with the edge one this time. So I can pick one edge of the teapot and the other edge, and I'll put the spout and lid on this one. All right. And so you're probably thinking, why a teapot? I understand the other object types. Well, the teapot was instrumental in computer uh, renderings. And uh, so in 1975, it was one of the first things that we rendered. And, uh, oops, sorry, here. Uh, so it's called the Utah Teapot. It's made a, a famous appearance in Pixar's Toy Story, but basically it was back in 1975 uh, that Martin Novelle, uh, he was actually trying to test out his 3D modeling uh, uh, rendering problem and he wanted an object in which to, to create. And so this has been the standard uh, thing that we've created as a test for renderings. And so you'll see like the icons in many software be this Utah teapot. So if you look at many different things like up here, you'll see it's always a teapot when we talk about rendering. So the Utah teapot, it lives on in many different programs. And so that's how we got this special object type called teapot.